straight from Hope Ministry Sanctuary, Pastor Ralph here. Blessings to you all on another beautiful day given to us from the Lord above. I'd like to share this uh, morning with you this quick devotion. For the eyes of the Lord run to and from throughout the whole earth to give strong support to those whose heart is blameless toward him. You have done foolishly in this. Far from now on you will have wars. Second Chronicles 16.9 Friends, trying to control your own life is very, very exhausting, isn't it? Ask me how I know. Well, I say I trust God with my mouth, but in reality, I get overwhelmed trying to fix and control things on my own each and every day. My trust in God becomes nothing but a statement I feel I should say rather than what I'm actually living out. So I need to improve that each and every day. See, distrust settles in. Self-reliance becomes my go-to. And then I wonder why I feel more and more exhausted each and every day. If you can relate to these confessions that I have just mentioned, there are specific passages of scripture that I'd like to uh, look at and share with you today. Second Chronicles 16 is the last of three chapters detailing the story of Asa, king of Judah. Sadly, though, this chapter stands in sharp contrast to the two just before it. In chapter 2, Second Chronicles 14 and 15, we learn that God had given Asa rest on every side because of his dependence on the Lord. God even gave Asa victory in the face of a massive uh, uh, war. Yet in chapter 16, when King Asa finds himself in a border conflict with King Baza of Israel, Asa has a sudden and surprising shift in behavior. Instead of crying out to God as he has done before, Asa immediately turns to his own means of addressing the situation, misusing the treasures of the temple and placing his hope in the unwise military alliance. Friends, the ultimate result, what do you think? Unrest for Asa and his people, this king whose faith meant victory in the past invites battles into his future because he refuses to trust God in the present. Has that happened to you? I find his story convicting, sobering, and so very important to pay attention to. Just like Asa, our past declarations of faith are no guarantee that we will rely on God in the future. You see, faith is a present, ongoing choice for every believer, you, me. That's why I want us to look at uh, two truths from Second Chronicles 16 that will help us keep choosing to trust God, not just with our words, but also with our actions. Number one, God is not blind to our circumstances or to our choices to trust him. When life gets hard, my friends, we can sometimes wonder if God is blind to all that we are facing. But there's a beautiful reminder tucked into the words the prophet Hanayan speaks to Acer in Second Chronicles 16.9. For the eyes of the Lord run to and from throughout the whole earth to give strong support to those whose heart is blameless toward him. Friends, we serve a God who sees. He is an all-knowing, ever-present God who is continually aware of every single detail of our lives. And not only is God aware, but he's also looking to strengthen individuals who are willing to wholeheartedly place their trust in him. Number two, God has been faithful before and he will be faithful again each and every day. I wonder how differently Asa's future would have turned out if he had stopped to remember God's faithfulness to him in the past. He should have just looked at the past. Fear makes us forgetful. There is, uh, this is why we must purposefully look back and trace God's hand of faithfulness in our lives. 
God's faithfulness before assures us he will be faithful again. Hebrews 10, 35-36, we see this truth not only as we look back at our own lives, but also as we uh, read the story of God's faithfulness woven throughout all of the scripture. You see, friends, uh, there are so many areas where we're inviting not only exhaustion, but possibly destruction because we are refusing to rely on God. Do our frantic and controlling actions fall to match our faith-filled declarations each and every day? Let's not just declare we have faith. Let's live out loud that we believe God is good, faithful, and trustworthy. Let's stop running to fix things our way so that we can stop and fix our eyes on God. Isaiah 26.3 he sees, he knows, he cares. We can rest assured in that. Heavenly Father, I confess that sometimes I forget to remember your faithfulness from the past, especially when I am overwhelmed with uh, unpredictable things today. Keep reminding me that not only do you see me, but you love me. I don't know exactly what tomorrow will be like, but I do know who I'll be looking to. You, Lord, I'll be looking to you whose love is unfailing, whose hand is sa uh, uh, a safe place to entrust my hope. In your name I pray this. Amen. Here's a truth for today in Psalms 111.7. The words of his hands are faithful and just. All the precepts are trustworthy. Psalm 71.3. Be my rock of refuge to which I can always go. Give the command to save me, for you are my rock and my fortress. Friends, may God always bless you wherever you're watching me or listening to me in the world. And I ask you to all go through your life with Jesus Christ in your life. May God bless each and every one of you. And remember, God loves you. Never forget that. Count on him yesterday, today, and tomorrow. God bless you.